and uh, 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 congratulations as well. And I'd like to recognize and thank all of the Merkopoulos family members who are here tonight. I think I've got most of them uh, written down, but it's Larry, Steve, Jim, Rasula, Mike, uh, and Jackie Markopoulos, and I know other, other uh, children and relatives are here too, and all of our friends from Cinespace, uh, Cinespace Studios for hosting us here today at this incredible facility uh, uh, that, that, uh, that you'll hear more about. Uh, so thank you to the Markopoulos family for hosting us here today. It's, uh, it's wonderful to be here with the Markopoulos family uh, and all of your colleagues uh, at Cinespace Studios. Uh, you're important uh, and tremendous friends of York University, and we're very, very grateful to be here today to thank you for all that you've done uh, and for, uh, to celebrate this wonderful, this wonderful event uh, with you. We're very grateful for all of your support. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, in a moment, you'll hear from our President and Vice Chancellor of York University, Dr. Mamdou Shukri, uh, and later from Sean Brixey, the Dean of the School of Arts, Media, Performance and Design at York. Uh, but before I introduce the President, uh, I do want to also acknowledge some special guests that are here with us today. We have uh, Peter Milchin, the MVP for Etobicoke Lakeshore. Peter's here. Welcome. Thank you very much. We have the Consul General of Greece in Toronto, uh, Mr. Alexandros Ioannidis. We also have uh, some, uh, some representatives of the university and our leadership. Uh, we have Bill Hatanaka uh, and his wife Jan. Bill is a member of our Board of Governors and also a member of our campaign cabinet. Welcome, Bill and Jan, thank you for being here. Larry Keating is also here. He's a member of our campaign cabinet as well. Welcome, Larry. And we have numerous, numerous uh, members uh, of our faculty, of our staff, and our students uh, here at York University who, uh, who are here uh, today as well. I welcome all of you, uh, and I welcome everybody in the room tonight, uh, certainly on behalf of the University, but many of our alumni and friends and industry partners, uh, and we're just thrilled uh, to, to have you here tonight. So it's my pleasure, uh, as the next part of the, 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 the event, to introduce our president, uh, and Vice Chancellor Dr. Mamdou Shukri. Thank you very much, uh, Jeff, and welcome everybody. Good evening. Uh, it's great to see so many of you here this evening. We, we are very delighted. It is a really a, a great pleasure to be here with you uh, to celebrate the impact of an incredible new donation by one of York University's most valued supporters, the Mercopolis family. Uh, it is great to see members of the family here and many, many guests and friends of the university. As many of you know, the Mercopolis family uh, is really very active and involved with York University as alumni, donors, volunteers, including Steve, who is also serving uh, on our campaign cabinet. The Markopoulos family really understands the important work that York University is doing to prepare our students to be global leaders in their field. And the Markopoulos family has seen firsthand the impact that our students can make worldwide if they are given the tools and opportunities uh, through uh, the support that they are giving. Uh, I, I have to say that uh, I have a very soft spot uh, a spot for the Mercopolis family, perhaps because I have a very soft spot for any Greek name, uh, having grown up uh, around the Mediterranean, just the other, the other side of the Mediterranean, and having grown up with many people with Greek names. So it, all the time people are surprised they can pronounce Greek names properly. But the, uh, Steve is also very special. He and I have a few things in common. We both are engineers. We both worked for the nuclear industry, and you see where we ended. <laughs> and you wonder how that had any impact on our careers, but that's really, I'm sure it did. And uh, it probably, probably proves my point that engineers can do everything, <laughs> can do anything. Uh, so as, as, as you know that the, uh, 
Uh, we are here at the Cine Space Studios to acknowledge the ongoing leadership of the Mercopolis family. This includes the actions they have taken to ensure that our students can be provided with the best learning environment possible. And this is certainly an exciting time to be supporting York University and supporting York students. Today, as I said before, York University at an inflection point in its history. Today, there are many, the seeds are being put for so many things that will make, will ensure that you continue to do well and to continue to excel and advance. We now are proud of having, believe it or not, so many campuses around the world. We have our Keel campus that you're all, you're all familiar with, which is now a stunning campus that is uh, growing and creating a, an incredible environment for learning. We just opened a new Bergeron Center of Engineering, a new building for the new uh, engineering school. Uh, it's, it's, it's one of a kind, has won many awards. Shortly, you're gonna see two subway stations there that will take people from downtown all the way to our Keel campus in 25 minutes. And all of this happened on our Keel campus. We just opened the Dadala Institute for Global Health again to address uh, so that our students, our faculty, through their research and their learning, they address some of the most important health issues that are facing the world. So we also have a second campus, Midtown, at Glendon, where the only, which is the only campus that offers bilingual education to, uh, at the post-secondary level. The planning is also underway for our third campus, and Markham. We just been approved, as many of you know, approved to uh, lead the development of a new uh, campus for York University uh, in Markham. Shurik School of Business has a, mark, has a campus in Hyderabad, India, where students from all over Asia are, are studying business administration and doing part of their MBA programs. And this April, I opened the ECO campus in Costa Rica, which is, uh, really provides our Faculty of Environmental Studies the student the opportunity to, to be there at the rainforest doing work for sustainability and, and uh, environmental preservation. So the, all of these things are happening and it is really quite amazing where York University is heading. But this is, all of these projects have only one thing in common. They could not have been done without the support of those friends of ours like the Mercopolis family. And we are very grateful to all our friends, all our donors and supporters. Last month, we launched IMPACT, the campaign for York University. This is a $500 million fundraising and engagement campaign that will accelerate the impact of our research, will accelerate our plans to create the best learning environment for our students. This campaign has three main themes. First, preparing engaged global citizens building stronger communities, and mobilizing new ways of thinking. These three themes are vital priorities that will enable our students to become the true leaders of tomorrow. So before I make tonight's announcement, I really invite you to watch uh, the following video to learn more about how York is making an impact on the, on the global community.
campaign with the help and generosity of more than 35,000 donors, we have already secured $270 million towards our $500 million goal. Now, this evening, we are here to celebrate another tremendous contribution to you. So I am pleased, and indeed I am honored, to announce that the Wilcompus family has made an outstanding contribution of two and a half million dollars to York University and the School of the Arts, Media, Performance and Design. This generous donation has created the York University AMPD Motion Media Studio at Scene Space Film Studios, an outstanding new facility that we are standing in this evening. This new motion media studio at Scene Space would provide our students at the School of Arts, Media, Performance and Design with state-of-the-art facility for experiential learning opportunities using pioneering motion media technologies as well as direct exposure to the industry they are preparing to join. Our students will have the opportunity to explore areas such as cinematography, 3D gaming, motion performance capture, virtual reality, interactive image mapping, and digital post-production. This space here will serve as host to master classes with influential industry partners, including directors, producers, and cinematographers, providing our AMD students with exceptional professional learning opportunities. Additionally, our faculty members will use this space to build on fundamental research and to develop innovative and technology-enriched courses in film, digital media, theater, and dance. So, on behalf of York University and all of our students, faculty and staff, members in uh, AMPD, and indeed every member of uh, the your community. I wish to thank I wish to thank the Macropolis family and the, the entire family and the Scene Space Film Studios for their incredible contribution towards our students and towards really the future of the arts in Canada. Your support will allow others to see the impact that is possible at York University. Thank you once again on behalf of all our students and the next generation of Canadians. Thank you. Thank you very much, President Shukri. It's, uh, it's an exciting announcement, and, and I know I, mean, I share uh, with all of you the, the excitement that, that, we're, that we're talking about this evening. And to, to speak more about that and to talk about the impact uh, of this tremendous contribution, this, this wonderful space that we're in tonight. Uh, I'm happy to introduce Sean Brixey, the Dean of our School of Arts, Media, Performance and Design, to give some remarks. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, thank you, President Shukri. Wow, this is an incredible turnout. Um, before I head to my remarks, I just want to say thank you uh, to our student performers, the combo who've been uh, with us all night. <laughs> oh, music. Um, and in full disclosure, Mamdu and Steve, I'm also trained as an engineer. Uh, so it seems to be a theme this evening. Uh, this is a remarkably special evening. It's a true honor to be here with you tonight to celebrate the extraordinary commitment of the Mercopolis family. This evening is really a tribute to a family and a company that is and has continually and increasingly sought to develop the opportunities for AAPD students and to enrich and make memorable their education at York University. Our partnership with Cinespace arose in 2001 when the company made a generous gift to support student awards, and it's a commitment that continues to this day, with the Cinespace Studio Film and Video Production Awards, 
and the Cinespace Studio Graduate Awards in Film and Video Production. Then following up on this support that started in 2001, 12 years ago, the late Nick Mercopoulos then further established CineSiege, our annual juried showcase of films by graduate students, or graduating students. Known for his irrepressible vision and enthusiasm, Nick founded CineSiege with an understanding of how important that it is that emerging artists have a platform for their work. The Mercopolis family and Cinespace were also major contributors to the building of York's Accolade Project, which created the most extensive post-secondary art school facilities in Canada. It houses, of course, the Nick Mercopolis Screening Room, as well as our music, theater, dance, cinema, and media arts departments, and many others. And tonight, we are extremely uh, pleased to introduce to you the newest episode, and maybe the newest campus, uh, at York in the Cinespace AMPD uh, uh, story and our relationship. It's the AMPD Motion Media Studio at Cinespace. This facility offers unparalleled experiential learning opportunities to pursue the creation, convergence, and application of next generation media technologies in a professional industry setting. A truly future focused state of the art complex for interdisciplinary teaching, research, and creation. This groundbreaking facility will make it possible for students, faculty, and industry leaders to collaborate in new and exciting ways and to further support the development of our collective creative future in moving image and new entertainment media. The Mirkopoulos family and Cinespace Film Studios are truly kindred spirits to AMPD. They share our vision and our view that students are artists and creative forces in their own right and that state-of-the-art facilities support the creation of powerful and innovative technologies, that strong connections between industry and education are key to supporting our emerging cultural leaders, and that creativity is today's most important and in-demand sought-after skill. The Motion Media Studio at Cinespace brings to life one of AMPD's most cherished values. It creates an environment in which students participate in hands-on, real-world setting surrounded by practicing artists, industry professionals, and creative entrepreneurs. In doing so, students emerge in their own unique paths of pioneering discovery, and at once students are encouraged to collaborate with peers and professionals and to explore imaginative ways of thinking and doing, and to develop an abiding hunger to make a meaningful and enduring impact in the world. What might appear at first glance to be a large unfilled space, a blank canvas so to speak, is actually a world of wondrous possibility. This facility will be home to the most exciting and revolutionary advances available today for cinema, digital media, and performance production. And as we'll demonstrate one of those technologies tonight for you, it is where tomorrow's digital and creative world will be imagined and innovated. Organic Motion CEO uh, Andrew Chesnock is actually here to give us a tiny glimmer tonight. I think some of you have been speaking with him uh, throughout the evening. APD is electrifying the imagination of a new generation of artists, the creative leaders of the future. We are doing this in participation and in partnership with a multitude of companies, organizations, and individuals. Tonight, in addition to honoring one of our lead donors, the Mercopolis family and Cinespace Studios, we are also marking the launch of AMPD's impact campaign. Our campaign is set to raise $20 million. It will support us in building next generation art school that combines a strong disciplinary training with a focus on interdisciplinary collaboration, experimentation, and innovation. At this time, I'm very pleased to share with you the premiere of our campaign video, highlighting our vision for a remarkable creative future. The video features many of our students working collaboratively on interdisciplinary projects, as well as an original score by Department of Music alumnus Spencer Cregan. Also, as you leave this evening uh, later, uh, please take a moment to pick up a copy of our campaign booklet. You'll see it here, you'll see it outside, and you'll see it on the table. It's designed by one of our Department of Design alumni, Will Coe. The booklet provides further information on the exciting vision and showcases students and faculty and valuable partners such as the Mercopolis family. 
As today's students prepare for jobs that have yet to be imagined, creativity is their single most valuable asset. Our society needs well-trained artists who are also thinkers, makers, collaborators, and pioneers, able to invent new opportunities, launch new industries, and drive economic growth in our increasingly competitive global world. These are the kind of leaders we are preparing in AMPD. These are the kind of leaders who will populate the motion media studio at Cinespace and who will be the front runners in tomorrow's creative digital future. Please join me in honoring Steve, Jim, Krasula, Mike, and Jackie Mercopoulos, and we look forward to all that will be imagined and will be invented in the future of this outstanding facility. Thank you. Lakeshore Jamie Maloney, a member of Provincial Parliament for Etoko Lakeshore, Mr. Peter Milchin, President Shukri, Dean Grixie, faculty, ladies and gentlemen, good evening, thank you for being here. On behalf of the entire Cinespace Mercopolis family, uh, let me say what an absolute honor it is uh, for us tonight to be launching this exciting next phase in our collaboration with York University. Our big happy family includes three York alumni and one Bruce Bryden Award winner. So our roots with this institution truly run deep. Dean Briggs, he was kind enough to mention uh, some student awards, our participation uh, under the leadership of Martin Goldfarb in the Accolade Project, but 
I should also mention 17 years ago, uh, Synod's based president, my uncle Steve Markopoulos, led fellow community members to endow a chair of Hellenic Studies at York University, the first of its kind in Canada. And uh, of course, the Synod seat awards are very important to us. Uh, Dean Brixey mentioned those six years ago. Synod Space and other industry partners that are some are, who are here tonight. Uh, Professor Ali Kazmi uh, at York University, we launched 3D Flick, which was an academic industry project uh, to build capacity for stereoscopic 3D and immersive film production in Ontario. So as you can see, this collaboration here tonight is a very natural next step for CineSpace in York. And when Dean Brixey and Alistair Hooper and I toured the DePaul University stage in Chicago in November of 2014, it became obvious that this studio that we're standing in tonight is that next step. In the case of DePaul in Chicago, that studio is contributing to the badly needed increase in that city's crew base to help accommodate more Hollywood projects than ever before. In the case of the York University AMPD Motion Media Studio at Cinespace, as Dean Brixey correctly stated, our objectives are much loftier and much more innovation oriented. Having been reminded every year at the Cinesiege Student Film Awards how advanced York film students already are, now it is time to take storytelling to the next technological level and prepare students for the future economy. In addition to the innovation and job creation agenda, we must also remember our duty to Canadian culture. Earlier today, I had the honor of representing CineSpace on the jury for the 2017 Governor General's Awards in Film. While I cannot reveal the nominees, I, I can say that artistic quality, creativity, and technical mastery are all factors in the final decision, as well as contributing to the cultural life of Canadians and exporting our culture abroad. With previous award recipients like Robert Lantos, Adam McGoyan, Deepa Mehta, and especially David Cronenberg, who has shot four feature films at Cinespace over his career, I can say that this exemplifies our highest hope for York AMPD students. Be innovators, make a cultural impact, and of course, be our paid studio clients whenever possible in the future. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, what I meant to say is, that would be nice too. What I meant to say is, to the students, stay here and produce here. Contribute to our already very rich fabric uh, in Ontario and Toronto in terms of our film and TV production community. Uh, I want to remind everyone here tonight that in the words of Doug Knight, the chair of the Governor General's Performing Arts Awards Foundation, Canada is an arts nation. President Shukri also mentioned this. We are global leaders in compelling storytelling using the visual medium. So that's what this project is all about. This is about keeping our edge as global leaders. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you for being here. We are very proud to be working with York University again. We look forward to amazing things coming out of this collaborative project, out of this space. Thank you again, and enjoy the evening. Thank you very much, Jim. We're absolutely delighted. I think everybody's thrilled to be here tonight, and we're, we're, we're so excited to see what's going to be happening in the future. Uh, and so now I'd like to call on the entire Mercopolis family uh, to join us here on the stage. Larry, Steve, Jim, Kusula, Mike, uh, Jackie, and all of the other members of the family to come up with uh, President Shukri and Dean Brixey uh, and everybody else. I think we've got glasses that have been handed around. Let's, let's please have a toast uh, to celebrate the opening of this great new facility. Thank you. 